Imagine your house with a green wall. It's not only beautiful, it also reflects the strong sun and it helps you to save money on cooling. In case of a blackout, you will be even more glad with this passive cooling solution. In this video, I'll show you how to create this green wall with the comparable cost of an air conditioner, but without its electricity costs. And then the noise. And when the grid becomes passive, in case of a blackout, this solution will become the active cooling. Hi Norbert here, energy engineer and explaining in video of 54 how to realize a beautiful passive cooling on your house with artificial or natural plants. Plants that are dense enough to close a surface are also good to create a shadow. And you don't have to create a green wall on all four sides of the house. And finally, in order to have an air insulation layer between the house and the plants, you can leave about 10 centimeters of space between them. Consider the following benefits of this passive solution, which I see hardly described in other videos. Number one, the heat gain of direct radiation of about 5 kilowatt hour per day per square meter results in about 1 kilowatt hour per day per square meter at the inside if 20% of the radiant energy is transmitted through the wall. For a house of 100 square meters of, uh, on one floor and 120 square meters total wall outside area of which 50% is sunlit, this would result in 300 kilowatt hours per day less solar gain on the outside and 60 kilowatt hour per day on the inside less heat so also less cooling need and that is equivalent to 24 kilowatt hour per day of electricity for the air conditioner so that means you save more or less three times the electricity for a refrigerator that would be for one day 10 euro if the tariff is 40 cents per kilowatt hour and it would be 900 euro for a season of three hot months. Now calculate it in the other direction, just to, uh, to have a check. What is the average consumption of an air conditioner for a house of 100 square meters of a floor surface? That's for the same house and for the same climate, 22 kilowatt hour per day, according to GPT. Benefit number two, the wall is beautiful in this way especially with natural plants. This is also a natural solution, but it needs much water. And if they are artificial, at least you have the advantage that you can install them quickly. They don't have to, to grow, so you can enjoy a cool summer already this year. And then the third benefit is that passive cooling addresses the problem at the root. So it keeps the sun out. And therefore, I think it's just rational. And that means it will also work during a blackout. Design. If you want to try this in phases, you can start with the first floor. The second floor might be unused during the day, and so you can apply there evening ventilation. Another way to start small to cover only the most sunlit uh, wall. The artificial plants are available in strings or in ready to use fence rolls. And then the question, how many leaves per square meter? Well, if you want to have a complete uh, shadow of uh, 100%, then you will have to buy more artificial plants. However, most of these uh, fence rolls, they have, to my opinion, a very dense foliage. And then windows and doors apply slats at every vertical border so that the foliage will be supported at the top and also at the bottom. You can also think about applying films to the windows to stop the sunlight also there. I saw some videos about it and I think it's uh, a cost-effective uh, solution. It uh, will be for another video. Materials needed. For artificial plants, the materials required for the project include some form of those uh, imitations of these uh, plants, like uh, strings or rolls, and then uh, brackets, uh, spacers, screws, slats and a mesh. I estimate the cost of everything at about 20 euro per square meter 
and uh, that allows uh, very interesting payback times, by the way. If you have a roll of heads complete with the foliage, for example, one by three meter, then you can stretch them out directly between the slats and then you have, uh, you have no need for a mesh. And by the way, if you want, don't want to damage the outer wall with many holes, uh, you have to use brackets, plugs and screws that are not too deep. The plants are not heavy, but you have to take into account also the weight of the rain and also dynamic forces on the leaves uh, of uh, wind and even storms. Before I go on with the installation, a few words about climate change. I don't know what about your country, but here in Italy, the climate change is statistically very evident. The difference between north and south are incredible in these weeks. Water at one side and dwarf with high temperature at the other end. Also other countries witness events never seen in a lifetime. We are really in an urgent situation and we have to move with speed and on large scale. Let's start the energy transition from the bottom. Yes, that's us, you and me. We normal folks are quick because we decide for ourselves. That's the factor of speed. Moreover, we are many and that's the factor of scale. Hit the subscribe button with notification in order to participate in 360 degrees innovation and show the big decision makers how good we are in speed and scale. Now let's continue with the installation. Where I am now, we need a permission to install such a green wall. And we are not yet in our summer holiday home, zero energy house, where we can do what we want. However, I didn't want to let you wait for this innovation because it's already hot. So I make an exception to the rule that I won't first uh, try the things myself. I want to present you this technology that is simple enough to understand and realize. It is in several places of the world, even if I saw it only with natural plants on the videos on YouTube. I like to start with an example of artificial plants to avoid waiting natural plants to grow and enable you a cool 2024. The steps for the installation are decide how many brackets you need per slat so that even long slats will be well supported. Be careful if you work at 3 meter or higher and have always a person next to you. Install the bracket and then attach the slats onto it. Attach uh, wires or a mesh to the slats. Secure then the artificial plants uh, with the small straps. A fence wall can be attached directly because it has its own mesh. Benefits and results. Now you have created a shadow on a really big surface on your house. And yet the heated leaves are far enough from the wall with a layer of air in between that will rise and be replaced by cool air from the ground. In this way, you avoid the power of a small hair dryer on each square meter of your outer wall. You can measure with the infrared thermometer or even see with the infrared camera the difference with an uncovered wall. For example, if you installed the green wall uh, only at the ground floor, then you can compare it with the same wall at the upper floor. Another conclusion is that it's beautiful if you used your imagination and chose the foliage you like. And finally, it's not too expensive. If you manage to stay under 20 euro per square meter, then you might cover a wall of 3 per 7 meter for the price of one airco. Exclusive the installation of this airco, its energy costs and the noise. So with this simple but innovative idea, you have now a piece of passive cooling technology that's also nice to see. It's really a do-it-yourself project. I read on the internet that people from the USA are the most act active in the world on do-it-yourself. The second country in the world is uh, Germany and also my home country, the Netherlands, is uh, very strong in Europe. So let me know in the comments what do you think about this project. And what can you do next? Just consider if there is some wall that really receives too much sunlight. Check if you are free to do what you want with your house. And finally, remember the last summer. Was it too hot that summer? The last year, for example? Well, then probably also this summer will be too hot. 
Please like and share the video, subscribe to the channel and look now to video number 53 of the previous week that was also about surviving a heat wave. Charlie.